What's going on everybody? This is 40B Nasty. I'm here to teach you how to cycle a tank. This is something I have never actually done a video for, but it is literally the most basic thing that you need to learn before you even start an aquarium. So here we go. This is going to be a quick info bit on how everything works. As you can see, I have a tank here. It's a 13 gallon. This applies for any aquarium. It has to be cycled because that's a good thing for your tank. It's going to hold your nitrifying bacteria, which is going to break down ammonia, and it's going to break that down to nitrites, and then nitrites to nitrates. And then you're going to have to remove it with either having plants, or if you're going to do a saltwater tank, it's going to be chato or some kind of macroalgae like that. That's the only thing that's going to help you counterbalance with nutrients. So here we go. Here we have, for example, this sponge filter. Now this could be a hang off the back, it could be a sump, it could be um, a canister filter. All filtration is doing the exact same thing when it comes to biological filtration. So what this is doing is it's drawing in water and it's denitrifying the ammonia and the nitrites that are crossing over these bacterias. The bacterias are called nitrosomonas. Nitrosomona is what breaks ammonia down to nitrites, and then there's also nitrobacter and nitrospira, which is what breaks down nitrites to nitrates. So I'm going to show you what I have in my tank for them right now for readings. As you can see, my ammonia is at 8. My nitrites are at 0.50 parts per million. And as far as nitrates, we'll call that 10 because that's usually iffy on those bottles. But anyway, but this is basically how it's all done. I basically start an ammonia source in my tank and then with this ammonia source, it needs to be filtered. And that's what the filtration device is for. That's what's going to hold your beneficial bacteria, the nitrosomonas, the nitrospera, and the nitrobacter that I had talked about. And once you get that up and running, and you will see this completely drop down to zero. This completely dropped down to zero. This is your nitrites and this is your ammonia, which is nitrates. And this will spike. So basically what you're doing right now is waiting for nitrates to spike. Because what that means is you've filtered all this ammonia that's being put into your system, processed and brought to its end of the nitrogen cycle. And this is where you do your water change. That's all you're doing is just waiting. You don't need to do a water change in between this processing cycle. That is the worst thing to do because you just want to actually beat up your tank so it can handle something as, as extreme as eight parts per million or even five parts per million of nitrites. So this is basically how the nitrogen cycle works. Now, if you look at this tank, you're probably like, what is going on here? Especially if you don't know what kind of tank this is. This is a Reef Nutrition Tigger Pod tank. I've been running and now I decide to cycle it. Some people want to know, does this actually work for a pod tank like this? It absolutely does. Honestly, you can see the explosion of pods everywhere, all these little white dots. This is food that I'm going to be having for my mandarin. So once this is all cycled, then I'm only going to have to worry about nitrates. That's my game plan. Usually I've done these tanks and run only ammonia and not even get nitrites or nitrates because I had nothing even processing this stuff because there was no nitrosomonas or nitrobacter on any of the surface areas with a flow over it and for them to absorb those kind of that kind of nitrogen to break down. So basically what you need folks in your systems or your filtration is some kind of flow over it for these things to constantly be being fed some kind of ammonia source or nitrogen source to keep these things always thriving and alive for your tank, to keep it healthy for your fish, for your pods, for snails, for shrimp, for corals. It doesn't matter. You want a cycled tank. This is the most important thing in this whole hobby, and it's also one of the easiest things to do. For most fish tanks, you can just take a table shrimp that you get at the grocery store and you just drop it in and you like stick it halfway underneath a rock and let it rot. That will literally bring you through all this. It'll bring your 
ammonia up, to bring your nitrites up, and it'll bring your nitrates up, and then it'll drop these two eventually. It's the easiest way to do it. Don't go stick and fish in. Of course, people say you can do it, and you can. But it, is, it, is it not healthy for the fish? Absolutely not, because you're poisoning. It's called ammonia poisoning. So right there alone, you know that's not good for the fish. And what it does is it's actually burning the gills on the fish. And your fish really, really needs to be hardy for it to survive. Most of the time, they're going to die. So have some patience. It can take two weeks. It could take two months. I've had a tank take a month and three quarters. So, and that was only a five gallon tank. Each size of the tank does matter. And sometimes it doesn't matter, which is awkward because I have a friend who has a 210 gallon and it took him eight months to cycle a tank. Of course he has like a whole sump set up, which is probably about eight more tanks downstairs in his basement that are hooked up to this one tank. So it's going to take that much longer to put all this beneficial bacteria that's going to break these things down on all the um, surface area with flow for it to break down what he needs. So did he have to wait months? Was it excruciating? Yes, it was, it was probably the worst experience he had to go through because he wanted to get things in there. But was it the smartest thing he ever did? It absolutely was. So patience is the key factor in this hobby, folks. When you're going to start, start off with cycling your tank all right this is it for now this is 40b nasty out take care thanks for watching